Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In this brief video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if Cortana is not working properly on your Windows device. So hopefully this should be a fairly quick and automated tutorial, so we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is take note of whatever drive letter Windows is installed on. So most people it's going to be either the C or the D drive, majority of which are going to probably fall on the C drive of those two. But just to make sure, you want to open up the start menu and type in this PC. should be listed right above desktop app. Left click on it. Whichever drive has a little logo of the Windows icon right above it, you want to take note of whatever's in parentheses right here. So in my case, again, like I said, more than likely it's going to be the C drive. But you never know. It could be anything from A to Z in your case. So I'm going to close out of here. Now I'm going to go back in the start menu and type in command prompt. Best match should say command prompt right above desktop app. I'm going to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, select yes. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is running a check disk scan. So that would be to type in chk, dsk, space, and now like I said you're going to type in whatever the letter was. So in my case it's going to be c, colon, another space, forward slash F, then you're going to hit enter. It's going to say the type of file system is NTFS, cannot lock current drive because currently we're using the drive to access Windows. So it says check this cannot run because the volume isn't used by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts? Type the Y key on your keyboard, then hit enter. It says this volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. So I recommend that you restart the computer, follow along with any prompts it comes up with along the way, and see if that resolves your issue. Okay, so if that doesn't work for you, we're going to be moving on to step number two, or method number two here. And that would be to open back up the start menu after your computer restarts and everything after you ran that scan. We're going to open up the command prompt again, right click on it, run as administrator, yes. Now we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now, scan now one word here and two n so scan s c a n n o w then hit enter and this will run another scan on your computer and this will take some time you will have to restart your computer when it's wrapping up but this one is definitely a good follow up for the first one so definitely I'd recommend trying both of them out and then hopefully you'll have some good results so as always, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.